So I've been an Ibanez endorser since uh, 1952. Actually, almost as long. I've been uh, since about 1987. And man, that was a good time. That was when everybody was playing pink guitars and uh, had giant hair and spandex pants. <laughs> They said one of the greatest things that a musician can ever hear, which is, we'll make anything you can think of because we, we like you. And uh, that was wonderful. So I thought of some really unusual things, and uh, I'm still playing an unusual thing today, the Fireman. And so two of my guitar heroes, Paul Stanley and Rick Nielsen, both had Iceman guitars. And, uh, you know, finally I got one of those, and... You know, I, I loved it, but I wanted to have my own special thing. So I had the idea of flipping it over and making the lower cutaway an upper cutaway instead. And the nice thing about this is it makes the guitar balance really well. It feels good if I'm standing, it feels good if I'm sitting. It's got big tall frets, so, so I can continue to make harpsichord players jealous by doing a lot of bending and vibrato, which to me is maybe the most important thing about electric guitar, to really squeeze the emotion out of it. It's got a big thick neck joint and neck, just the right amount of thickness, not so thick that you can't play it, but thick enough to get the tone. And in my large collection of guitars and history of, as a guitar player, I found that pretty consistently, if it's got a thick neck joint and a thick neck, it's just got great sustain and great tone, and uh, so when we worked on the Fireman, we made sure to really get that perfect balance of playability and a good sounding piece of wood on the neck. Uh, this particular guitar is all mahogany, and uh, it's actually, the, the body itself is a lot of wood as well, and to me that's the, the whole secret, just a big, good sounding piece of wood. got Marzio pickups in it. I've been using the Air Classic humbuckers for a long time. Actually, in a lot of my vintage Ibanezes, because I do have a vintage Ibanez collection of the guitars they used to make in the 70s, and a lot of times I'll switch out the Marzio Air Classics, and it's become one of my favorite humbuckers. I don't know, it's kind of the Portland. If, if, if it was a city in the United States, you know, it's, it's a weird guitar, but it's really, really cool.